I think the most memorable challenge was the day that Patrick told me if we touch this floor, we're going to destroy about 16 feet of it and the building will come caving down. <laughs> The Heritage Preservation Commission, we're so focused on the exterior of the buildings, but when interiors are this well preserved over time, I think that really speaks to how treasured they are. And, and this space in particular has always, I think, been a, a treasured space. The whole project's been complex. So you've got a vacant building in the worst recession in certainly 50 or 60 or 70 years. That's 100% vacant and how do you bring it back to life. So the Pioneer Endicott, they were originally built uh, as two separate buildings. They were joined kind of functionally with their heating and cooling systems in the, I believe, 40s and 50s. So they were, they were designated as historic sites together, even though originally they were, you know, they had very different design goals. This type of structure was only used for a very short time because it was extremely hard to work with. The building uh, standards when the building was first was built were nothing like they are today. The uh, walls were out of plumb, out of alignment on two different planes, and it was a significant challenge to make a modern elevator that's dependent on aligning to something that's just completely out of plumb. My company's done extremely difficult projects throughout their history. They were considered the first recyclers because they recycled buildings. They took buildings and moved them to different locations and they were reused. So my family's always been involved in saving buildings that others would have torn down. The building was a significant challenge in every respect from the steel that's in the structure, that's very old steel, it's very brittle, it can't be welded on. We had to cut a 14 floor stairway through this building. The floor system is a unique structure that would not allow us to fasten our sills to the floor. So we had to cut a six floor stairway through the other building, that was extremely complex. We ended up uh, building a set of struts that support all of these doors on the pit floor. We ended up having to bring in a secondary uh, structural engineer. It's not a job that any contractor can do. You have to have contractors that, uh, that go above and beyond the normal process. We probably have 45 at least on this project that uh, combine some unique skills. Our, our company is always hired to be our clients with a certain amount of uh, design and construction and technical expertise. So their experience has always been on projects that either nobody else would tackle or people couldn't understand how they could even be able to do the type of work they were doing. These are buildings are irreplaceable. You can feel 140, 130 years of history in this building when you stand here. I think you need to respect history. You can't always preserve that. Obviously a modern elevator was called for. You couldn't keep the old elevators here, but I think we got as close as we could. Yes, this building has been adapted as a you know, residential apartments, uh, but it still is accessible to the public. And I think that's so important. And while it didn't take a day, it's taken us several years to get this. We like to think that this building is really an amazing project, once in a lifetime probably, and uh, there is no other building like this in the state of Minnesota that I know of with a 14th floor atrium running up through the center of it.